So let's look at an electric car company. So first off, read this disclaimer carefully and do your good deed of the day by liking and subscribing. So uh, we go here to you know the theme in question. Electric vehicles. Uh, we have uh, motorcycles, scooters, boats, uh, and a bunch of cars. Uh, Candy Technologies has something interesting happening at the moment. So we do have a 53% move here from the low, but an astonishing minus 67% pullback. So definitively there's been a massive, massive haircut. So here is the company's website, Auto Evolution for All. So let's go to the About Us uh, page. So uh, yeah, uh, doing business under the, the name Candy America, headquartered um, and yeah, off wholesale of off-road vehicle products and distribution of electric vehicles. Yeah, pretty you know, generic uh, statement uh, here. Yeah, it's uh, one of those electric car companies. So let's first take a look at the chart. K N D I is the ticker. So this is a, this is you know the long term picture, and as you can see, we do actually have quite a few years of uh, data. You could argue that we have some uh, time cycles here, suggesting that you know the you know we are part of a declining phase, but uh, you know eventually declines do come towards an end, and we ha do see here with this black line that there is no horizontal support levels at the current price. So yeah, we have, so this is not like at some major high or anything like that. RSI has also pulled it down to a level that has triggered buying previous, previously. So if you look here at uh, the moving averages, what I find especially interesting is that, you know, the blue and the red 200 week moving average, they have been important in the past and now they are converging together. So you do have, you know, really strong moving average support below us. You see here, quite recently, price has tested uh, them and did bounce. Um, so I wish, I wish, you know, the reaction was a bit stronger, but we do have support. Uh, what is a bit problematic is this purple 20 week moving average that is offering resistance. So let's go to the daily data points. And in this instance, you know, it gets pretty interesting because we do have this uh, green 50 day moving average was resistance now becoming a support. And there is the potentiality that it could become support here again if we go down to test it. Um, we do have a solid resistance for sure from the blue 100 day moving average. So 50 day support, 100 day resistance. So this is not like some a very clean bullish uh, setup, but technically it is more bullish than it is bearish you know, at this level. You could argue that we have a bit of a roundingish bottom pattern, or you could argue that we have a bit of a Know, a bit of a messy inverse head and shoulders pattern. Um, this current breakdown, it does um, do some damage to the inverse head and shoulders pattern. Um, so it, it is a bit of a messy situation, but I think that it, it is a bit more bullish than it is bearish at this point. We do have some key support levels. So the seasonality, um, you know, this is all the years we get. So uh, July tends to be uh, the strongest month when you look here at the average gain. So average gain is a whopping 49%. That's huge. But it only closes higher 47% of the time, which means the times when July is strong, it is really strong. August is weak, but July could be very interesting, especially in the context here of these support levels. Here is uh, Finvis. So the short float is, it's, it's, it's not monstrous, but it is high. So there is certainly the potentiality of a short squeeze with, you know, approaching 22% short float. So that's interesting, especially given that this is at a low level. Uh, so, you know, having a high short flow when the stock is at, you know, some euphoric high, that's something very different from here. 
this is this is not like an an, an ideal place to be uh, aggressively short. You know, this 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 chart is it's sure if we do get a breakdown, it could go lower, but um, there's a lot of support here. Uh, this isn't an attractive short, which means that if we do get a bit of a rally, uh, we could quickly get some short covering. So that's definitively uh, something that could get very interesting. So the market cap here is 448 million US, US dollars. So you see here, um, you know, the death number is, so, I mean, you can see, you know, some of the colors, some of these are colored red, some are colored green. Uh, so, so it's a bit of a mixed message as far as, you know, value goes. Um, these kinds of, you know, stocks, they do not tend to be, you know, value stocks for, for sure. Uh, the key thing about any kind of new industry is that, you know, there will be winners and losers. And when you look at uh, the the emergence of um, gasoline cars, uh, many companies did go bankrupt. So it, it is a, there is risk investing in this space. Uh, we do not have any ratings here from Saks. They categorize it as top 7% leisure and recreation products, which I don't really agree with. Yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, it's it's a very interesting candidate. Uh, definitively, this is in the very high risk category. A lot of things can go wrong, but also the the rallies, if things uh, you know go a little bit good, uh, they can be very substantial. So from the current price uh, to this high, that would be you know two hundred percent. So you quickly could get, you know, some meaningful moves if, you know, the bulls get into action again. So if I am to sum up my take here for this company, looking long term at this price level, I would be speculatively bullish. Um, we have seen over many years that the you know, bulls have a tendency to show up around here. Looking shorter term here with the daily data points, um, we do certainly want the 50 day moving average to hold as support because if we do lose that, then we get stuck below all moving averages, which is not ideal at all. Uh, I, w I would like accumulation distribution to pick up a bit, given that we have this uh, rounding-ish bottom, inverse head and shoulder-ish pattern. So there are definitively conflicting messages. Uh, then again, uh, when it comes to this whole electric vehicle business, uh, there is huge uh, growth uh, potential. Um, Tesla is certainly is you not know, the leader, uh, but you know I think that one of the challenges for Tesla is that they. I don't think Elon Musk Musk wants to produce. Um, mediocre cars. So he has this ego involved in making really good electric cars with really good AI. But that also means that he kind of uh, locks himself in in a certain price uh, range. When it comes to these competitors, they can just decide to make um, just okay cars. Like this, this company, Candy Technologies, it is Chinese. So Maybe they will just make cars that get the job done. You know, the range is decent. It's not the best, but it's sufficient. The AI is okay, not the best, but it's sufficient. Um, and that's something we do see when it comes to gasoline cars. It's not you know the the, the cars we see most of uh, you know uh, in the streets. It's not you know the best brand. It's not you know the best car engines. It is you know, those that are mediocre. They are good enough. They get the job done. You get from A to Z or A to B, but nothing really more. So th I think that's that's uh, that's interesting uh, because um, I do I certainly do think that there is a room for you know both the low end electric cars, the mid range, and also the high end. So yeah. Whatever you do, of course, you definitively want to let the trend be your friend, especially with these super volatile stocks.